we're gonna take the derivative of y equals cos xy. Now, because we have a y on the left side of the equation and also inside a trig function on the right, we're going to need implicit differentiation. The derivative of y is dy by dx. I prefer y prime when I'm doing implicit differentiation. And then I need to take the derivative of cos of something. The derivative of cos anything is negative sine of that same anything. Now, if that anything is not just x, then you also need to multiply it by the derivative of whatever is on the inside of that function. This is chain rule. And what is in, on the inside here is x times y. So we're going to need product rule to do that. Product rule of this is derivative of the first thing, the derivative of x is 1, times the second thing as is, plus, and then you do the first thing as is, times the derivative of the second thing, the derivative of y we already said was y prime. Now, ideally we'll be able to separate out the y primes on one side of the equation so we get an expression for the derivative only in terms of x and y not y prime itself. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to clean up what's in these square brackets here. 1 times y is just y, and I also have x, y prime in there as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply negative sine x, y through this bracket, then I'll have two terms, one of which has y prime in it, and I'll be able to move that to the other side of the equation. When I multiply negative sine xy times both of these things, this first thing becomes negative y sine xy, and the second thing becomes minus xy prime sine xy. Again, this term and this term both have y prime in it, so I'm going to combine them on the other side, like the left side here. I got my y prime minus xy prime sine xy can move to the other side and become plus xy prime sine xy. The right-hand side is still negative y sine xy. Okay, the point was both of these terms have y prime in it and I can factor y prime out of it. y prime factor when you y prime is factored out of it is just one. And when I factor y prime out of this, I'm left with plus x sine xy. Now I have y prime times a big chunk of stuff. And so to get rid of that chunk on the left, I can divide it out on the other side. My final answer here is that y prime is negative y sine xy on the top of a fraction divided by this whole thing. 1 plus x sine xy. Now that may look more complicated than it did up here because it's now a fraction, but there's no y primes here. So all I need is a point x comma y on the original function, and I'll be able to calculate the slope of the derivative, the slope of the function, aka the derivative, at that point. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you for being with me, and best of luck.